All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Had to get laundry going, switched over, take a couple things upstairs. And then I grabbed a small snack as well. Because I kind of got to eat when I got a chance right now. Because any minute, I could essentially be left for an hour without being able to move. You tried your best. Turns out words on the stream is kind of hard to beat on your own. <laughs> I know. Hopefully I'll get a more active chat and we can uh, get further on it. But uh, that was one recommendation that uh, some people, including like one of my big regulars, uh, actually made for... And I thought fitting it into my break screen is actually perfect. I just wish it was a little more automatable. Because the link for it changes every day. Like, every time. Speaking of active, you kind of have to leave, so now you feel bad. No one needs to feel bad. I mean... I... I, I've seen that when I go consistently, my numbers actually do get a lot better. Um, so, you know, having to take like a month and a half off, especially when it was unexpected, kind of didn't help, but hopefully things will get better now again. So... It's time for tra training and you can't slack with that. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, I'm very pop in and leave and lurker friendly and all that fun stuff, too. So, uh, hey, the fact that anybody decides to even stop by for a couple minutes is like, or lurk or whatever is like enough for me. The rest will come with time and as I improve the channel, which I'm hoping to do um i'm hoping to start working on improving some of my overlays and stuff yeah take care Reppy. um i mean i try to stop by risen's channel in the morning it depends i'm actually getting to sleep in a little bit now like it depends on baby's feeding schedule but i will See you when I see ya. Exactly, exactly. I mean, I'm trying to stream a lot more now as well, especially since I've kind of got a system now where you guys can't see it, but I actually prop the baby up on my lap using my um, nursing and maternity pillow while I play. He loves minecraft and stardew and stuff with like and um might as well with like the bright colors and uh, like lots of movement and stuff okay so let me get this straight there is a nice hardy boy it's a she and you don't like us talking about her uh-huh that's right we're not talking about this this is a private Hardy Boys matter. Nothing to do with your shit. End. You're not cops here. Don't go digging around if you don't want a bullet in the back of your oh, head. Oh, jeez. I'm watching you. Good. We are all watching each other. Officer, your question. The man hanged in the backyard. Did you do it? The pretty boy. You guys really love talking about that pretty boy funny but my partner and i have a serious matter to discuss with you why is there a container belt around his neck container belt like we use in the harbor yeah why because we took it from the harbor where we work then we went out back and used it to hang Okay. We did this together, all of us, until he was dead. 
That's why there's a container belt around his neck. There's a catch hidden somewhere. He didn't confess so that you could take them all away. It's too simple. Okay, what's the catch? There is no catch. These seven honest men have all equally come forth to tell you what happened, so that you don't waste any more of your time. Okay. All seven together. They dilute in responsibility. It's an anti-arrest tactic. When did it occur? We don't have to answer any of his questions. I know, Lizzie. Relax. We killed him last Sunday night. Seemed like a good way to end the week. How long did you know him? Known him? We don't associate with scum like that, asshole. Yeah! Who do you think we are? Okay. Quiet. He came around about three weeks ago when that Pines cow first sailed into town. Happy? By the Pines cow, you mean Joyce Messier? The representative for White Pines? The same company you are striking against? No. I mean the Pines cow. The stupid ass cow they sent in to fuck us over. Okay. But you know what? Why don't you ask her about the pretty boy? I'm sure she has interesting things to say when you ask her hard enough. That's enough insinuation for today, Titus. Officer, your interview is drawing to an end. Don't waste your last questions. Hey, do I want to ask who called the shots or why did you kill him? Or how did you kill him? But I feel like they all have obvious answers. What do we think? Um... Because who called the shots? I feel like it's either going to be Titus or the mysterious eighth woman. Um... Because I feel like if I ask why, I'm just going to get a sarcastic answer about Pretty Boy and Pines and all that stuff. Ask about who Are the you show. deaf? There will be no singling anyone out. You can't arrest a 
Hardy boy, without arresting all Hardy boys. Do you think you could do that? Do you think you could arrest them all? A trick question. Don't let her lead the conversation. Address Titus, who calls the shots. <laughs> who do you fucking think does? I say the eighth hardy boy. Titus, no one was thinking. Ah. That there's any question who's the leader. That's how he would have ended it. Titus won't let him. No, 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 fuck no. The big dick is right here, asshole. You're looking at it right fucking here. Oh, I pissed him off. Officer, none of the boys have any comments on their power relations. That night, they acted as one. That's all. Okay. So why did you kill him? Why? Cause he was worthless mercenary scum. And he stepped out of line in my town. So he was a mercenary, and that's it. And he stepped out of line. What kind of mercenary? The kind that shows up when you start a strike. The experienced kind, too. Had Kohoi and Seminine written all over him. Ex-Oranese Special Forces. A live grenade, right here in our bar. Okay. I can't prove it, but I know he was sent by the Wild Pines. They hired murky shit like that. Story of every strike from here to Samara. How do you even know he was in special forces? Because one night he walked straight up to the mic and said, I'm RNA's goddamn special forces, and I'm gonna fuck you all. Really? Yeah, really. Had a gin and tonic up there, sang some RNA's paratrooper song, and said he's gonna fuck everyone. Okay. We couldn't believe it either, but he fucking did, right there, like some kind of animal. Okay. Sire, the tale is true. This is a serious violation of the karaoke code. <laughs> Besides crimes against karaoke, what did he actually do wrong? Wrong? He harassed women, raped one, harassed workers, threatened to kill some as a warning. I bet that is the uh, it's. I wonder if that's the eighth hardy boy. From rape, to harassment, to threats of violence. Why the strange de-escalation? Yeah, it's kind of weird that they gave the... the crimes in descending order of severity. To kill us all, if we don't open the gates, if we don't let the scabs in, if we don't bend over. And that was before he started coming here. Yeah, he said it was his favorite joint now. Started coming here every night. Drinking, grabbing girls, grab one of ours mid karaoke right there on the stage. He grabbed someone? 
Oh, I wonder if it's the woman who left. I wonder if she's the eighth. Yeah, this girl's on the mic. A beautiful girl, young, gets into the second verse of Love a Lake. The fucker grabs the legs, starts screaming. Show me your cunt. Why don't you show me your cunt? Then, he gets knocked on the head with a wine bottle. Doesn't even fall down. Is this the same one who was assaulted? Aren't you fucking listening? My man is talking to you. He took care of it. They got the girl out before anything else could happen. Yeah, me and Eugene got her out. Aren't you fucking listening? There's something odd here. Seems like they don't want to talk about that rape Titus mentioned. Why not? This is a serious allegation. Make them talk about it. Who did he assault? That's a very serious allegation. No. You're not getting the name. That's a Martinez matter. It's gotta I'm be the waitress that left. Clowns. The bartender that left. There's nothing you can do for now. He's stonewalling you. Okay, so how did you kill him? We hanged him up by his neck. Until he got real still. Wasn't that obvious, copper? Didn't they teach you anything at the cop school, idiot? The autopsy showed they were naughty at your marks. His hands were not tied. Can you explain that? The lieutenant goes in for the leg sweep. Titus does not see it coming. Um, we... Look, I'm not gonna play 20 questions with you, capo. I'll say it again. We killed him. I'm betting it was the woman that he assaulted and they're protecting her. Yeah, I knocked him out. Came up behind him and clapped him in the back of the head. He went down like a sack of sun. But they just said they smashed him with a wine bottle and he didn't go down. Um, where was that? Yeah, knocked on the head with a wine bottle and doesn't fall down. That's right, lawman. And then we hang the fuck. Make them a bit more uncomfortable first. Then see if it all adds up. Strange answer to the side hands. What did you use to knock him out? My fucking elbow copper. Samaran boxing a style. Samaran boxing, or Sambo, is an eloquently violent set of one-on-one -on -one fighting moves originating from the Samaran Isola. Sambo style implies stealth, cleverness, and cool. He may be lying, but he's good at it. No twitching, no rushing, no uncalled for details. Okay, and where did this take place? Right fucking here. Eugene already told you that the fuck had started coming to our bar. Yeah, man. Weren't you listening? Yeah, things aren't quite right here, are they? Titus is yes. so the rock, and so are a few others. But. Okay, who's solid? Elaine. Who looks like he might be Titus's right hand man, the least antsy of the bunch. Definitely not his first time being questioned by the police. This little rat faced fellow is solid, too. Always fidgety, yes, but no change there. Him neither. Mostly keeps to his tomato juice or whatever he's got there. Hayden, who's cracking? <laughs> Okay, he's sweating profusely and has difficulty breathing. Uh, they've smartly kept him out of the conversation thus far. Definitely the weakest link in the chain. In the chain. Hey, you. You having trouble breathing there? No. Of course he's having trouble breathing. Just look at how fucking fat he is. <laughs> Fuck off, Shanky. Angus is a powerful guy. All muscle. 
Keep your eye on this powerful guy. Sooner or later, he's going to break like a piece of twig. There's something you're not telling me. And fuck you too, copper. Picking on Angus like this. We're done with this schoolyard shit. And just so you know, he doesn't have trouble breathing. This one is a stone wall. You won't get more out of them about the night of the murder. Not yet. I have other questions. Like what, copper? You murdered him just like that, no remorse. How many people have you sent to the Shays? Ever felt remorse for them? Shays Electrique is the method of capital punishment in Revachon under the Coalition. During the Suzerain's reign, it used to be the firing squad. Or send them to Reunion to rot. For 20 years. For life. I'm just doing my job, that's oh, all. So you are just a simple, well-meaning man, eh? Ever been in solitary? Prison is a charter. That's what it is. So is hanging a man, slowly, without breaking his neck. So what are we gonna do now? Yeah, I'm not gonna arrest him yet, because I don't think that they killed him. I think that they hung him. I'm not saying that they... they okay. I don't think that they intended to kill him. I think that they thought somebody else killed him first. And then they hung him. Which may have finalized in killing him. But they were just trying to cover up for the... Probably, most likely the woman that was assaulted. Nothing. Your investigation here is done. Leave Martinez. Go back to your stations where you belong. I think we're going to stick around, thanks. Some things don't add up here, Titus. I've done this job for long enough to know that people don't just confess to first-degree murder. Even if it is a group responsibility, we're going to look into this. Good luck with that. You've heard everything a rent -a cop is gonna hear from us, real law officials. You're lucky you didn't get a beaten. I want to go look back at the park soon now that we have a little more information. Another thing. Great. No. Yes. Okay. I wasn't sure if we could ask him about the... the guy, but then we know that he hasn't been here for that long, so... Freezing corpse hidden inside its belly. You touch the dead man's body. His skin is cold, light blue and silvery in the light of the fridge. You still. <laughs> Have no Ow. Idea where to oh, that was a terrible or role. To even do with him. It'll come to you sooner or later. At least he's safe here until then. I was hoping there'd be um the more positives. Uh for example, now that we know how to like what we're looking for.
Actually, let me check the journal. An old call box with East Delta Commerce Center. This must be the name of the Doom Commerce. Yeah, that's area. still too low. Oh, we can talk to. Oh, who are you? <laughs> The ship takes off like a silvery mosquito, unfolding its rotor blade arms. She mumbles reading, then puts down the soft cover. We had one, yes. Hello? Me? No one. I'm just a working class woman. If she's such a working class woman, why isn't she working? Shouldn't a working class woman be working? Not all the time. Right now I'm browsing books. Even a working class woman needs something to read. Good, good. It is. I'm a policeman. You, you need help with a policeman? What with? A lot of things. For example, people tend to go missing. That's all. The woman before you. Not okay. Um, yeah, let's go talk to Plaisance. You're alive and well. Don't keep me waiting now. What's in there? In that dark sarcophagus. Yes, yes. How was it? Tell her how ghastly it was. You know it's what she wants to hear. Dump nothing to see there, just heaps of garbage. Someone should let the sunshine in. What else did you find? Did anything survive? No, of course not. Have you located the entity? I talked to her and she's a dice maker. A novelty dice maker? Well, spit it out. Why does she need the dice? For some kind of sorcery? Sometimes they use the ankle bones of sheep. She's just a businesswoman. I don't understand. If it's not her, then where is the source of the doom? How did she explain the curse? The narrative she's built herself, it does need tearing down. She's squeezing on the pendant too tight. A drop of blood in her palm. Lady's to crazy. With it. Perchance you ought to just lie, sire. There is no curse because there are too many inconsistencies. Hmm. Too many inconsistencies. What kind of talk is that? Good luck persuading her. Some people can rationalize anything. She's a novelty dice maker. Her business has been up and running for a long time now. Yes, because her business consists of the psychic leech that's been feeding the curse. I see that you've fallen for her manipulation, Detective. The investigation is over. I just hope that you haven't made anything worse by going in there. Thank you for nothing. Please, do buy some books, or be on your way. Well then. There's never any other way this could have gone. She's just too far gone. In I am sorry we had to disappoint you, ma'am. Can we go now? I mean, lady just crazy. Um...
Perception. Let's get another perception, because why not? Still legendary, but if we can try to increase it a little bit more. Actually, wait, hang on. Can I see for the hangman? God, I hate this scrolling so bad. Well, that's Inland Empire. Vigilance officer, what can this old carabineer do for you? Um, I saw the statue. Ah, yes, King Philip the Third on his steed, a reminder of what Revachol once was. Oh, absolutely. At the mercy of a cocaine snorting tyrant who emptied the treasury so he could sleep <laughs> on a bed of gold. A superpower. Feared and respected. A testament to what this country can be under the leadership of a true king. Someone who knows how to rule. Okay, right. then. Well, I found your guard booth. Yes. The Debardeur's union pays me to stand with you during the nights. Not out of any political allegiance, mind you. I'm an old man. Don't sleep more than a few hours every night anyway, and... Money is tight. You must have seen something. Your booth looks right out into the yard. Yes, it does. Unfortunately, I wasn't working that night. Been on a two-week leave since last Monday. Why are you on leave? It's a private matter. Nothing to do with your investigation. You see, officer, René is the kind of man who'd rather die than admit he needs medical assistance or, God forbid, sick it. A real man's man is just gonna ride it out. It's okay. I'm fine, God damn it. Mind your own business. <laughs> so who was working your shift? No one. The boss has been on man since last Monday. There's no other guard. It's just me. No one has been guarding the container yard since last Monday. Yes. It's... It's not actually an issue. I mean... Look, officers. The container yard doesn't actually need a guardsman. Never had one before, René. Monsieur Claire had that booth built specially for him. It's mostly decorative. Mostly decorative? The possibility of someone being in there is enough to discourage any ill-minded individuals. Evrard created this job for René. Because he knows the Royal Carabiner's pension of honor and PTSD isn't something a man can live off. A decorated Kingsman collecting tear reflects bad on the whole neighborhood. His words. Nothing wrong with tear collecting, it's my side thing. Oh, I didn't mean to imply there's something wrong with that. I do it too. Everyone does it. It's an excellent side thing. Yes, yes, yes. Can we conclude the topic of my guard boost now? Saw the picture of the girl. She is nobody. 
This is none of your concern. And I refuse to discuss my private affairs with the RCM. The lady is Jean-Marie Beaulieu, and she sure as hell wasn't a nobody. Yes, yes. Like I said, it would be up anyway, so might as well keep an eye out. It keeps my senses sharp. Hang on, real quick. He's like trying to decide if he wants to wake up or not, so I might have to pick him up. We'll see. I want to try coming back and talking to her again, as well as trying some of these checks and seeing if we can't win. Just an ordinary war. Nothing to see here. As we start to hey, what's that noise down there? There must be another way to do anything. That one is so loud, I don't know why. I'm gonna have to pick him up. Nursing a cigarette. I'm coming. Come. Wait. Hi. Hi. Oh, he's smiling when he hears me. Got some spit up. There we go. Hi. Shh. You're okay. You're okay. Not looking for any trouble, officer. Okay. It's the voice of someone who has something to hide, my liege. No trouble for me, I just want to know what's going on here. I don't want to be seen talking to the gendarmerie, if that's okay. I just want to finish my cigarette. Don't let him go. This could be your witness. The balcony has a great view of the whole thing. Actually, I really need to talk to you. Is it really that important? Like a nervous cat, he keeps stealing looks at neighboring windows. 
All right, but make it quick. Once I finish this cigarette, I have to run. Can you tell me your name? My name? My name is Martin Martinez. I'm guessing that's a fake name. That's definitely not his real name. No, of course not. I might need to check his diapers. Can you tell me anything about the hanging? I can tell that you finally got him down. Thank you. It was quite a disturbing sight. Okay, Even okay, okay. Hey. What were you doing last Sunday? Okay, give me a second, guys. Sorry. Actually, I'm going to do a short break because it's been about 40 minutes. I will be right back. 